This is Jaron.net and today I'm going to show you how to dismantle the A-Data Superior SH14 1TB USB 3.0 external hard drive. Uh, so it comes in a package like this and what you've got here is your external hard drive. Uh, the outer coating here is a rubber silicone shell and then there's your normal casing underneath and inside is a standard 2.5 inch SATA hard drive that you can you know, take out and use in your laptop, your PS3, what have you. Uh, all you're going to need is the drive of course itself and then I used a credit card for the most part to pry open the case. Uh, you may want like a plastic scribe or a mini screwdriver just to help pry things open, uh, but there are no screws involved. All you need to do is uh, a lot of prying. So first off, we'll go ahead and just remove the rubber coating here. Uh, to not stretch it out, I try to just kind of push it out as opposed to trying to peel it back because I'm afraid that might stretch it out and it might get all loose. From the bottom here, just start pushing it while holding on the sides. And it starts to come out there as you can see. So you pulling at it here till it comes all the way out. And I've taken it out three or four times now just for practice for this video and it hasn't yet stretched out so uh, it should be fine for you. So here we have the drive. Uh, opening it will void the warranty because this little sticker here. I tried peeling it off myself very carefully to see if I could put it back on just to see uh, but I couldn't do it so I just went ahead and got my screwdriver and just cut the label myself there. So, as you can see here along the edge, there is a rubber kind of seal around it. I guess that's supposed to help keep out moisture. Uh, I'm not really sure, but when you're prying, you want to try to make sure not to cut that. For example, when you're prying, you don't want to pry so hard that it just kind of cuts the little gel in two. So the first step is to get a credit card like this and just slide it into this little part here. Now when doing this, it shouldn't touch the rubber seal here because it is kind of underneath this little plastic bit here. So what I'm going to try to do here is just stick it in here at first. There you go. You can kind of hear that I, it popped in there a little bit. Now what you want to do is get the entire credit card along the entire uh, seam there. So for example, all right, you see now how the entire length of this little bit here is in. From here, I want to take the credit card and bend it this way so it starts to try to peel off the top there. Now as you can see here I do have a little bit of the rubber seal kind of being pushed out. Once you have the ability to kind of grab this it probably isn't a bad idea to go ahead and start pulling it out just so you don't accidentally rip it or you know so it won't get in the way. It's not a very tight compression right here so you should be able to just easily pull this out without stretching it or breaking it or anything like that. Kind of go around the entire edge here. And one nice thing is that because of this label, there likely will be some labels still stuck on this rubber seal. So it'll be kind of easy to match it back up, put it back on. As you can see, there's a part of the label there. So when I put it all back together, if I want to put a new drive in there or whatever, it'll be easy to kind of figure out the orientation that this seal was uh, installed with to begin with. <laughs> right, so here. Now at this point, if you can manage to pull the card out and completely remove this, great. If not, don't worry about it for now. Uh, so like I said, go ahead and start pull, prying this back. So I'm going to go ahead and try to first remove this out from in here. Just so I don't have to worry about it. It's getting kind of pinched there. I'm going to go ahead and try to get it out anyways. Alright, so now this is removed. I don't need to worry about breaking it, ripping it. Get my credit card back here. Stick it in again all the way on the edge. And while I'm pushing it this way, I'm also trying to push down on it like this so that it stays open a little bit like that. That way I know that the top clips here are undone, which will make doing this part a lot easier. So now I'll take the edge of the credit card here, stick it in between the two parts of the chassis here like that, and just work your way down. It can be a bit difficult, but you'll hear the snaps all the way down. It might help to wiggle it up and down like that as you're going down just to kind of release. The clips are on this side and they fit in these little holes. So when you try to push this part of the chassis down away from the top part of the chassis. That's what you're basically trying to do. But just keep going down, wiggling it up and down like that. So you get about to the bottom and then take it out, go to the other side and do the same. Take it in there, 
I, like I said, I've done this three or four times now, and I haven't broken any of the snaps yet, so I think you should be safe. You don't need to worry about damaging any of the components. If anything does break at this point, it'll just be some rubber seals, maybe, or those plastic clips. It won't actually hurt the hard drive. You'll see in a minute. Uh, be sure to use a car that you don't really care about, because it will get it uh, pretty bent and dinged up. All right, now that I'm basically down to the bottom, you should be able to just kind of start pulling it apart, and the back should release by itself. And here you have the top part and the bottom part. I just kind of show you the top part. There are a few rubber pads here that act as the shock absorbing, and right there as well, which helps absorb any shock around the connection there. And here again, there's more shock absorbing pads, basically about where the screw holes are for the hard drive. There, and four, you know, two there and two there. From here, you want to pull it off in the back because it is kind of obstructed from the plug connection here. Pull from the back first, get it loose, and then pull it out from chassis. Again, you can see the four different rubber pads there. So here we have the case. And now, as you can see, there's a little metal protector here. Just kind of wriggle it free. Once you have it loose and removed, you can see that it is just connected by a small little micro board and a standard SATA power and data connection. And all you need to do now, just slowly kind of pull up on the connector there. And here you have your two and a half inch, one terabyte SATA hard drive. Uh, this one in particular is a Samsung HNM101MBB. That's an eight meg cache. So there you go, now you can use it in your PS3, your laptop, or uh, what have you. And then you can either put this back in the case or use any other SATA drive uh, just by simply putting it back in, putting it all back together. The one thing I would advise to do when putting it back together is, well, of course, you know, putting this back on bottom half first, making sure it's all even and not wound up or twisted, is to put the hard drive back in on the bottom part first because this part right there can be tricky to get through this hole there when it's all put together. Um, if you put it on the top first and try to sandwich the bottom on the top, it sometimes won't align perfectly and then it won't be able to close tightly. So put the hard drive on the bottom part of the chassis first with the seal and then start from the top again here, put it in, push back down around and slide it all together. All right, so that's jaren.net and that was how to dismantle the A-Data Superior SH14 1TB USB 3.0 hard drive. Thanks.